This is Coach Mike Bray, and you're watching PTV News. I'm Braxton Cave, and you're watching PTV. Hi, I'm Muffet McGraw, and you're watching PTV News. Good morning, PHS. I'm Devin Gritton. Today is Thursday, November 10th, 2016, and to my left is my always spontaneous co-anchor. Yep, that's me, Nicole Clark, here to deliver the greatest and latest of PTV News. We've got a lot lined up for you today, so stay tuned, PHS. off PTV news let's get you where you need to be if you've got an SRT meeting lined up bridge bust you guys are meeting in room 218 newspaper head to room 120 heart club you'll be meeting in room 107 and boys and girls golf call out meeting will be in the library right now so giddy up if you really need to get there and only one after school meeting for tonight and that's robotics club you guys are meeting in room 141 tonight from 3 30 to 5 30. the bridge bus club is selling items to help raise funds to help cover the cost of transportation for their competition in february at purdue if you are interested in purchasing any items including towels blankets candles etc please see a bridge bus club member or miss mcclellan in room 218. if you are already a bridge bus club member you have not picked up your fundraiser material see miss mcclellan asap the fundraiser ends november 18th PHS students and staff invite all United States veterans who have served our country to gather tomorrow, November 11th, at 9 a.m. in the Varsity Gym. PHS graduate Captain Sean Flynn will be our keynote speaker for this year's program. Prior to the program, a breakfast for our veterans will be held at PHS free of charge beginning at 7.45 a.m. Veterans and their family members who would like to attend are asked to park in the east parking lot, the football stadium side, and enter through door 7. PHS veterans who would like to join our students for breakfast to simply call Kelsey Flynn at 574-914-4849 and RSVP. For those who cannot physically attend the program, you can watch the program in the comfort of your own home streamed live promptly at 9 a.m. right here on our PTV YouTube channel. Seed Club is selling items to help raise funds to adopt a family or two at Christmas time for the third year. The Give It Back at Christmas program helps families in need right here in our Plymouth area have a special holiday season. If you're interested in purchasing items, please see a Seed Club member or Ms. McClellan in room 218. If you are a Seed Club member and have not picked up your fundraising materials, see Ms. McClellan ASAP. The fundraiser ends November 18th. Sweetheart is two days away. The theme is Arabian Nights, and it will be held on Saturday, November 12th in the Multipurpose Room. The Sunshine Society has booked an amazing DJ, and the photo booth is back by popular demand. The tickets will cost $10 a person, and you can still get tickets yet today and tomorrow during lunch. The PHS Theater Department ventured down the Yellow Brick Road to see The Wizard of Oz this past weekend, and many of you were on the journey as well because you came to the show. In all, the theater crew put on two shows for the elementary school children twice a day last Thursday and Friday, plus put on four shows for the public. The theater department wants to thank the thousands of people that attended the show and supported the department. The cast and crew want to put on a huge congratulations out there to Miss Jane Falstich and Miss Regina Warren and Miss Tyree for putting together once again another phenomenal performance. We can't wait to see what the three ladies have up their sleeves for the spring performance. Before we check out what's making sports news, let's check out what's on the menu today in the cafeteria. It's the ever so popular beef nachos, refried beans, corn, and the fruit and vegetable bar that will be open as well. The lunch ladies really know how to cook up a heck of a meal. I'm Jesus A. I'm Jesus B. I'm Warren Garcia. I'm Devin Gritton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Now, moving on to what's making PHS sports news, let's take a look at the PTV Sports Rundown. Tonight, the freshman girls basketball team is on the road to Logan Sport taking on the Tigers at 6.30. Then, taking a look at what's lined up for Saturday, the varsity girls basketball team is taking on Michigan City at 12.30 here at home. During the last Notre Dame home game, the Fighting Irish took on the Miami Hurricanes. 
This year, Notre Dame football has granted two of our PTV members access to the field to shoot the game. The Fighting Irish kept their winning streak against Miami alive. PTV's photojournalist Juan Garcia put together this video recap of the game. Let's check it out. Um, to, to have the season that we've had so far, uh, all of that builds up, whether you know it or not. And, and to go in that locker room and, and seeing the fight sound the way we do when we win, uh, it's, just a, it's a great feeling. It's the reason that we come here to play and that's to win games and to represent this university the way that we did tonight. Uh, we have to use it as a lesson to learn uh, what it takes to win and, and how important it is late in the game to, to keep our energy up and to keep our focus up. I, I can tell you what was on the sideline. You saw the energy on our sideline. Our guys were not going to believe that they couldn't do it. There wasn't a belief when I looked in the eyes of every one of those players that they weren't going to figure out and find a way to win. I would definitely agree with Coach Kelly on that. I think that the uh, the motivation is, is staying with personal and team pride and it's about Riding the ship and, and getting better and just keep pushing forward. It's amazing. I mean, this is a team, you know, like I said, that's been chasing the win all season. So uh, for it to come out the way that we wanted it to uh, is amazing. It's definitely a blessing. So uh, we're, we've always been hungry all season. So uh, what we wanted to focus uh, more importantly on is, is to finish games and to and really come out with the win instead of, you know, coming out on the other end. Thanks, Juan, for putting together that piece. Notre Dame last home game is on the 18th of November against Virginia Tech. We are hoping the university grants PTV media access to the game as well. We'll keep you guys posted. Also, making sports news, the PHS 2016 Prog Committee is hosting a dodgeball tournament this Friday in the Plymouth Auxiliary Gym. The tournament will start at 6.30 and will be on the bracket play until the champion team is crowned. The champion team will be win a one-of-a-kind t-shirt and gift cards to restaurants around Plymouth. It's too late to sign up now, but if you want to come out and cheer your friends, the mission is $2 at the door. Concessions and bake sale items will also be available for sale at the event. All proceeds from the tournament will go towards the funding of 2016-2017 prom. Now kicking it back to October 29th when the Rockies played their second sectionals game against East Noble at home. Juan Garcia was on the sidelines capturing this play action in the first half as Cole Filson ran for the second two touchdowns with Braxton Bennett adding one. The half ended with Rockies down 22-28. to During the second half, the Rockies were completely neutralized. Each Noble held their scoreless while they ran away with the score. Rockies were knocked out of the sectionals with the game ending 22-48. to We want to say congratulations to Coach Barron and all the seniors for giving it their all this year. Next week, Anna Height and Josie Coons will have an intense look back at the entire football season. You won't want to miss this one. Time to switch gears with a little recap of PTV Trivia Time. It was, what modern day country is the ancient city of Troy located in? The answer was Turkey, and the classroom to get the correct answer was Miss Hatcher's room. Congratulations, you guys, and good luck to the next class that wins this week's question. Okay, PHS. Here you go. Get the phone ready to dial. It's time for your guys' favorite portion of the show, PTV Trivia Time. Today's question is, what is the first movie ever to be called a blockbuster? If you think you know the answer, call our PTV extension 1241. Again, the question is, what is the first movie ever to be called a blockbuster? Call the extension 1241 with your answer. If you haven't heard, our PHS Spell Bowl team will have qualified for the 32nd Annual Indiana Academic Spell Bowl State Finals that takes place this Saturday at Purdue University in West Lafayette. We here at PTV want to wish them the best of luck, and we are entering into the competition right here, now third in the entire state. Well, that's a wrap for us this week. We hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Nicole Clark. And I'm PTV's Devin Grant, and have a great Thursday and a weekend, everyone. See you next week.